Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your butt. And I'm kind of feeling like a boozer. A user. And a two-time loser. All right. Uh, why, you may ask, is I haven't sent anybody any Christmas packages this year. And I do every year. And I and I haven't this year. And so I did, you know, normally my car payment is 300 and I always pay 400 So this year, this month, I say I'm going to only just pay the 300 And I'm going to use those extra 100 to buy people uh, Christmas packages. And I went to Frankenstein's, man. Frankenstein's collectible show. Uh, like a, just like I saw, it's a collectible show. So they have everything. But mainly I go there for baseball cards. But as soon as you walk in, you know, there's this booth that has like all these 80s and movie toys and stuff. And I stopped by there and I couldn't help myself. And like for whatever reason, like I bought both of these figures of the good guy. You know, the good guy's a guy who turns into Chucky. Why? I don't know. But at the moment, I had to have them. They were super cool. And I bought them. Maybe it's because we were just watching. I just watched the movie not that long ago. But, I mean, those were 25 bucks for both of those. And while I was paying, I noticed these patches that they had in the back. And I was like, oh, I gotta have that Beastie Boys patch. So I asked for the patch, and I got the patch. And they're like, oh, do you also like pins? We have a Beastie Boys pin. I'm like, really? Yes, I do collect pins. And I got this Beastie Boys pin. Iconic airplane pin. All right. So right away, I blew 35 bucks out of my $100 budget. I was like, okay, I got to go straight to the baseball section. You know what I mean? So I went to the baseball section, the baseball cards, and I saw this book that I had at <laughs> The guy that I bought this book from, you know, uh, he didn't have a bag big enough for the book. So he gave me this trash bag. He's like, hey, well, hey, you, you want this bag? It's the only bag I have that will fit that book. So I, the rest of the day, I, after I bought this book, I walked around Frankenstein's like a hobo. <laughs> like carrying this trash bag. All right. But like I said, first thing I saw, like, oh, I had to have it, was this book from Sports Illustrated. Baseball's Greatest. And I bought it. It was behind the counter. I just, hey, I'll take that book. Had no, no idea what was in it. And, man, I do not regret buying it. This book is amazing. The pictures, you know. I had a lot of baseball books that I would read. And most of it were all, like, 70s, pre-70s, you know, pre-80s, 70s and earlier. And this one is goes all the way up to modern. So it has so many. Not only that, it has so many, you know. You see certain pictures that you've seen in Beckett a hundred times baseball cards a hundred times but you know i see a lot of pictures that i haven't seen in a long time or or i haven't seen at all before and like i said this has you know uh, the past all the way up to the present look at this check that out i just thought this was sick right away i knew that was ricky henderson but how often do you get a picture of just the hands sliding into first you know that's enfermo homie enfermo and it has so many. Look at that Roberto Clemente. All right. It has so many great pictures. And like I said, I mean, I, I love this. I, I've gone through this a few times. And it's just incredible. All it is is a bunch of, you know, like baseball experts ranking the 10 greatest outfielders uh, by position. Center field, pitcher, catcher, whatever, shortstop. And... Greatest sluggers, greatest home run hitters, greatest stadiums, man, and um, so many pictures. Uh, it, it's a great book, you know. Sorry that I had to buy that. So still, I hadn't bought anything uh, for my friends. And then I saw this. So this was the first thing I... Oh, where are they? All right, so I saw this and I was like, ooh, I'm going to get that for Nate. You guys who would tops eight tops eighty five four oh one yeah all right and this is sick like this sticks out it pops out and I haven't called him I was supposed to call him to see if he had this because I don't uh, that's my whole thing that I try to send people things that they don't have yet you know that's my goal when I send people stuff and um 
And this is really cool. It's from like Super Slam or something like that. It's called. And I had never seen these before. You know, and I got the Barry Bonds, the Tony Gwynn, and the Roger Clemens. This is all they had was just these three guys. Man, but these are sickle. They stick out, man. It's enfermo, homie. Enfermo. Then I uh, he had this this book and I and I was thumbing through this. He had this on top of the table and I was thumbing through it and I was like, oh, I was kind of interested in it because I do have a lot of these, but I don't have the whole set. And he's like, hey, you like that? And I was like, yeah. I mean, look at that. Bugs, Bunny, and Dodgers on me. Can't beat that, I said. Can't beat that with the bat. And he's wanted 20 bucks for it. And I was like, ah, 20 bucks, man. I don't know. But, I mean, it's great. It has all the, you know, the Looney Tunes characters. Bugs Bunny, uh, Buzz Buzzard, uh, Wally Coyote, the Roadrunner, uh, Sylvester, Tweety, my homie Daffy Duck, is it? Um, it has everybody in here. And then he said, 20 bucks. And I was like, ah. I said, I can't spend anything on myself. I got to buy it look for something. And I told him, nah, I'm going to have to pass, man. Maybe if I come, maybe you still have it in a couple weeks. I'll, I'll get it when I come next time. He's all right, just give me 15. And so I gave him a $20 bill. He sold me on it. And he didn't have any change. So I looked around real quick. And I spied with my one-eyed snake. Uh, this thing on the wall a Chen Ho Park a starting lineup and I do have starting lineups but I don't think I have any Dodger ones so man look at the uniform on this it sticks out so much I thought it was so badass you know I had to have it and I said well will you give me that starting lineup for five bucks he's like oh man he's like okay just cause I don't have any change and he's like alright making an even 20 so I got that with the Looney Tunes book so man my money was practically gone and then i stopped at this um card table and i got these guys check it out and i got this nolan ryan you know um and i was like i don't think i have any of these and it's sick and it, you know this i i love this you know it's sick and i was like, i don't think i have these but a couple of days ago i did a live stream with uh um, splendid sports cards double d vintage cards and hitman 23 on uh, turn back the clock and I was going through unopened packs, and I had a couple of seller packs of of this set of Nolan Ryan. So I didn't need to buy it, man. I, I five bucks. I thought I was overpaying, and I didn't need it. But oh well, can't go wrong. And check out this own the game Barry Bonds. Do this own the game cards are so sick, so shiny. Look at that shine, sicko, homie, sicko. That's some enfermo shine right there, dude. Dude, if, if I was outside and I directed the reflection on the ant, it would blow up. It would burn. All right? Check out this. Ken Griffey Jr. Sick. Oh, look at that. He's dressed like he's from um, Boys to Men. Boys to Men. Ken Griffey Jr. BVD. The East Coast family. Sickle China on this too. I'm not sure if I have this. I might, but I don't have a checklist, you know. So I have a. I said, all right, I'm going to put it in my Griffey Jr. collection. PC and if I have tub doubles, it's even better, you know. And then I got the Sakuna, same thing. I might have this, but this was only two bucks. So I I was like, eh, I, I it's it's a sweet looking card. It's also so shiny, you know. And those are fifteen bucks, and I had five bucks left. So same thing. I I I looked on the wall, and he had a bunch of these in different sizes. These big old thick ass posters, and. He had this side, he had one that was like probably twice the size, he had another one, then he had like a huge one. And these were five bucks, the cheapest ones were five, so I got this, which I thought was a deal, because, let me see, I mean, this is the most iconic car, dude. Can't pet, <sighs> the 52 Mano. Rookie! <laughs> That's psych! Alright, but bought that, and there went my hundred bucks, man. So I'll get all you guys next year. And I'm still thankful for everybody that has sent me. I, I got a care package from Three Feet Men Nerds. So I got to open that hopefully tomorrow. But I got to clean my room, man. My room looks like a tornado went through here. But it's going to rain in Cali. So I'll probably take a couple days off during the rain. And I really need to clean up my And I'm not joking. I've, I already spent a half hour uh, cleaning up. And yeah, I still got a big mess to pick up but anyways guys love the hobby 
just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I said. Ciao! My name is Caesar, and I'm a baseball junkie. I really do feel like such a holiday. Man, these are fun, even when you're alone. Yoda, 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 Yoda,